Hey, it's your boy Danny T back on the grind and today we are putting this against this. So what have we got? Well, firstly, we've got this, the Nux Plexi Crunch, which is from their new reissue series of pedals. So if you can't tell by how it looks and by the name of this pedal, it's very obviously a Marshall in a box style pedal. So it's called a Plexi Crunch. I actually think it does more of the JCM 800 type sounds better, but it does do a whole lot of different sounds. The tone control is really cool because it's an active mid scoop or mid push control. And there's three gain stages in this pedal, so the preamp control covers a lot of gain, which is why it can do kind of the plexi thing, and then it really lives at home in that whole Marshall JCM 800 vibe. It's a really good pedal. It's really cheap. I'll leave a link below to Artist Guitars where you can see the price. Is I think it's $65 for this Marshall in a Blocks pedal, and it looks real... Blocks? Marshall in a box pedal, and I think it looks really cool as well. So the second pedal we've got, which we're comparing it to, is the Ramble FX Marvel Drive, which is a very popular plexi Marshall in a box type pedal that is seen on a lot of boards. Very popular in the boutique world of pedals. You can get a whole bunch of different versions. I see them everywhere these days, which is really cool. And it's a really great, very high quality, very well built, great sounding Marshall plexi in a box style pedal. So what I want to do is compare these two pedals because they're clearly going after a similar thing. They look very similar. They're both Marshall in a box style pedals. They both have a very similar vibe happening, but one is $65 and one is around $200, give or take, depending on where you find it. I'm not going to cover absolutely every tonal possibility from these pedals in this video. I've done a review and a demo of the Nux Flexi Crunch on my channel. So if you want to hear the sounds from that pedal, go check that out. What I'm going to do in this video is just find the optimum setting for both of them, see how they react when the volume on the guitar is backed off, and maybe see some other settings as well. But we're not covering every single setting from these pedals in this video, we're just comparing them to see how they sound at their best. So firstly, let's talk about how these pedals compare quality-wise and stuff like that, basically everything but the sound. So the Ramble FX Marvel Drive is built like a tank, the Nux Plexi Crunch feels a lot cheaper. This feels heavier for some reason, I'm surprised. This feels light, but it feels like quality light, if that makes sense, and this just feels heavy. It just feels like the normal weight of a pedal. In terms of how they look, I thought this looked really cool until I dug this out of my collection and then I went, yeah, okay, this one does look a bit cheap, doesn't it? You can see they've both got, oops, They've both got fake plexi. You can see the layer of fake plexi on top of the pedal. Uh, the Marvel Drive's a lot thicker. This one is a lot thinner and is actually, all re I've only had this a day and it's already peeling off in the corners. So it's clearly stuck on with pretty cheap glue. The knobs, these feel a lot cheaper. These wobble on the potentiometers. The color is a bit off as well. These feel really good, really solid. They look cool as well. I mean, they both look the same. It's just the colors a bit off on this one. But yeah, these knobs feel a lot more expensive, which is good. When I had a look inside both these pedals, this one was just on a PCB. It didn't look like a low quality PCB or anything, but it was just like a standard PCB. This looks like it was built purposefully and built by hand and it's got nothing extra that you don't need. It is just the circuit and that's it. And it's quite, it's like, it's actually quite nice to just look in there and see good soldering and good electronic work. It's really nice. The last thing I want to talk about, which is the big separation between these two pedals in terms of quality and feel, is the foot switches. So this has one of the best foot switches I've ever used. It's probably the best foot switch I've ever used. So it's a soft click. It's got a round tip. There's no tactile click. It just slides in smoothly. It's on. It's off. It just feels incredible to use. It's an amazing foot switch. This one is the worst foot switch I've ever found in any pedal ever. This foot switch is genuinely a hate crime. It is so bad. The tactile feedback is rubbish. It feels like it's broken every time you click it. It just it doesn't sound very nice. It doesn't respond very nice when you click it. It's a rubbish switch. This is literally the worst switch I've ever used. And this is the best switch I've ever used, which is funny because we're putting them up against each other. <laughs> and with that, it's time to hear the sound. So I'm going to cut to some playing. I'm going to let you know what I think of these pedals after, how they compare in the room, how they sound in the room and all that sort of stuff. But please let me know in the comments below which you thought was better. So let me know down there which pedal you would prefer 
considering the price as well remember that this is 65 dollars, and i'm sure you'd probably be able to find it cheaper if you looked hard enough and this is like around 200 dollars. so please comment below and i will see you after the sounds <laughs> All right, I'm coming to you from outside now. I just had to step out of my space for a little while while someone else used it, but that's okay because we can still come up with our final thoughts for that video and these pedals. And I must say, damn, there was not a lot of difference between those two pedals. Let's start with the Marvel Drive. So the Marvel Drive was, it cleaned up a lot better, which was a big point for me because I love a pedal that cleans up well and that cleaned up way better. The Nux just sounded like it was going to choke out when I cleaned up and rolled the volume back on my guitar. So the Ramble wins that. In terms of ease of use, the Ramble wins that as well. I basically took the pedal out of the drawer, put it on, turned the knobs to where I thought it would sound good and it sounded immense straight away. Whereas the Nux, I had to fiddle around, make sure the tone controls were in the right spot, find the right gains, sorry, find the right spot for the gain. And it just it was just a bit of a faff where the Marvel Drive was just that easy to get a good sound of. So the Marvel Drive wins that as well. The Marvel Drive also sounded a lot better on the low gain or low gain for a Marshall anyway, low gain type sounds. It just sounded a lot better for that sort of thing. It can do higher gain stuff as well, but if you want like that ACDC or classic 70s rock thing, the Marvel Drive is the one to go for. The Nux did a lot of things well 
also though i think for the higher gain jcm 800 type sound you gotta go for the nux because it just sounds great on the high gain settings it's got those three gain stages and you can absolutely hear that because it's just got so much gain on tap without getting too fizzy which was a really cool thing about that pedal it was also far more versatile in the sense that it was definitely a jack of all trades master of none whereas the ramble effects was definitely a master of what it does but yeah this nux just had so many different tones in it and you, you got to search for them you got to know what you're doing to search for them you got to experiment with the pedal but once you find those sounds they do sound amazing in terms of overall tone of both though there really wasn't a lot in it i hope it comes across in the video but there really wasn't a lot different between the two pedals which i was very surprised at so if i had to pick one to put on a board and take out to do gigs and stuff it's it's really hard to say i think I think, to be honest, when you factor in the price, you can't go past that Nux pedal. The versatility and the price is just too good to pass up. I think I would honestly have that on a board over the Ramble FX Marvel Drive. Which is the better pedal? Well, it's obviously the Marvel Drive. It's just got higher quality components. It feels like it's built like a tank. It's hand built in the USA. So there's definitely an argument for that being the better pedal. And I think that would be the better pedal. But in terms of what I would have on my board, I think I'd go the Nux drive, to be honest. That Nux Plexi drive was just, just did everything so well. And just for the price, like, just damn it was so good so please let me know what you guys thought in the comments below i will leave a link to that plexi drive on artist guitars in the description but yeah please let me know which one you preferred and which one you would get factoring in that price as well please comment below please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this as well and please share this in any facebook group or forum or reddit group you're in who you think would enjoy this video and be interested in it and open a good discussion i really appreciate when you guys share it in places like that that's it from me. I will see you guys in the next video.